hello and welcome so for today's video I have a pile of empty products I've gone completely through and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them because you know I've hit they're empty now so I know my final thoughts on these things today's first product is bliss drench and quench cream to water hydrator for all day moisturizer sir directions massage onto the clean skin for 30 seconds for instantly for instant hydration, use morning and night. Cruelty free. This was pretty cool. It was nothing that knocked my socks off, blown me out of the water for. It did what it said, it did its job. It was nothing earth shattering, but I will say the material itself was a uh, cool, soothing gel texture feeling. And that did feel really nice, so I did like it. This one I used up yesterday while I was taking a bath. It's the Bliss. Mighty Marshall Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. Directions. Smooth a thick layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly and bask in your radiance. Use two to three times per week. And cruelty free. It genuinely feels like a whipped marshmallow feeling texture to it. I don't know if this did anything for my skin. I was using it on and off weekly as well as another mask I'm gonna talk about. That one I think I was just underwhelmed by because I don't think I saw any difference with my skin versus like the hydrating um, moisturizer. I did actually feel my skin was hydrated and moisturized. I did actually like that. Versus the mask, I was just like, mm. the Sephora, when it's your birthday, you get like select items you can pick from from the case and I picked the Drunk Elephant items. And I've used both of them up since then. This is the Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. It's basically, it's a good old go-to cleanser that can also take off makeup. It did everything really well. I thought it did a great job removing makeup. I thought it did a great job cleaning my skin. But I think, and I'm totally ripping this from Jam Beauty 89 slash just run, but for it being such a high-end cleanser, I think you could find something that does an equivalent or yeah, equal job to it for much less money. So, but I understand drunk, drunk elephants whole thing is there's no garbage ingredients. It's just stuff that's purely good for your skin and nothing else. No filler, no fragrance, none of that stuff. The other thing I got from them was this moisturizer, protein polypeptide cream. It was really nice. Like the, Cleanser, I feel you don't have to pay this much money for it. I still really liked them. And, you know, if you have that kind of money and you can afford to buy high-end skincare, I say go for it. They were both solid investments. You know, I didn't pay anything for them <laughs> because they were free uh, birthday gifts from Sephora. But I did really like them. The moisturizer was thick, but not too much. It wasn't like, it wasn't like sitting on my skin heavy. It was thick, but still really creamy, and it felt really smooth and nice on my skin, so I did like it. Um, if I had that kind of income, I'd probably try the full size of them, but I don't. That's bliss, which is also good. They're both great, but you know, if you can't afford Drunk Elephant, bliss is also nice. Another thing I tried a long time ago, well, I got this a long time ago, but I didn't try it till recently. Basically, I was digging through my sample drawer and just finally cracking the stuff open. Was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I loved this. Like everything else, like, yeah, it is job, it was great, except for that other mask, it was not great. Um, it was underwhelming. This, okay, it feels like you're putting jelly on your face, but it feels really nice. And. You basically put a good thick layer on your face when you go to bed at night on a clean face and it just like slowly through the night is giving you like a hydration dose like rehydrating your dry skin I have dry sensitive skin so it's just so nice and it felt nice in the morning the first time my husband woke up next to me to it and he didn't know I put it on he's like are you are you having allergic reactions I do get allergic reactions he's like it's like your face is peeling I'm like what and like and the little bits of the mask was like peeling and peeling up because you know, I was like rolling all night on my pillow and such but it was really nice 
it was nice and cool and soothing and jelly and just I really liked it. This is of all the products I'm the one that's eager to repurchase and also eager to repurchase the big size of so I liked it that much. So this one was partly my own fault. Um, I did not understand what this product was. So this is Beauty Hack by Shea Moisturizer and it's um, Sugar Scrub Body. And I thought, oh, it's a body scrub and I get dry skin so it's nice to scrub off all the dry skin. And I was like, and it's a body one so I'll get more product. And I thought, I thought it was, was something else than it was. Um, when I got it, half the jar was already empty. And I was just like, what is this? And then I was reading it and it's meant to be a base for your own homemade body scrub. And I'm just like, God dang it. <laughs> so I only got like two uses out of this. And it wasn't like I was taking like fistfuls of scrub. I was just like taking like little scoops and like using it on my legs and such. And I blew through this in two uses. And like I said, it was already halfway empty. So I felt very frustrated. So I didn't realize it's just a base for you to add your own stuff to make your own homemade scrub. So I would not buy this again because partly, partly it was my own fault. Partly I'm like, that's not enough product. This is a face mask I got from Sephora Sampler. It's the Pharmacy Honey Pot. Sorry, Honey Potion. It's claiming renewing antioxidant hydrating mask. This mask was weird. In the jar, when you're scooping it out, it does feel like a bit more waxy honey, like there's a bit of beeswax still in it, so it's not so runny. It's still got some grab to it, but it did feel like a honey consistency. But when I put it on my face, it felt hot, like temperature hot. And certain parts of my face always felt like it was burning because of the heat would be so intense in certain areas. So it wasn't like a, like a, like when I put on lip plumpers, it always burns. It wasn't like that. It was just like, it was so hot. It was burning some parts. And this one, I did see a slight difference in my skin, but the sensation of wearing it was so weird and mildly distressing. I remember last time I wore it, right in the eye area burned the most. And it wasn't like in my eye, it was like, you know, the surrounding area. And it just burned. And the rest of my face felt so hot. And it was, it was weird. And I, I, I don't know what to think about you. You leave me confused. Yeah, it was a strange time. And this one actually killed this morning. Is the Livia Care 100% Natural Rose Hip Oil Face Serum Vitamins A, C, and Omega 6. And this was a nice, so I'm very picky with my oils. I don't like it when oils are so thick or oily or runny where it doesn't sink in, it's just sliding all over you. And then I had to like get like a towel or something and wipe like the excess off because there's so much and it just doesn't absorb. This stuff was just right. Absorbed like you could put too much on but like it would it would like just take a little bit longer to put too much on and it still absorb versus some of those just, uh, just sits on my skin It came with a little plunger so Dropper I should say to you know get product out with I Use that on my face. I put it around my eyes. When I wake up and they'd be like extra dry I used it on my whole body my arms my legs my torso my chest everything that was just feeling so painfully dry because it's December, it's that time of year where you're punished with the cold and your skin is already dry, it's extra dry. <sighs> I really liked it. It was really nice. Um, of the products, I would buy again if I was looking for something like that, would be the Bliss Moisturizer, Hydration Quench, whatever the thing was called. The Drunk Elephant products, if I could afford them and the oil, but I'm eager to repurchase the, um, now a quick rundown, what would I rebuy again or not buy again? Just, sorry, gave you my thoughts on the products itself. 
The Drunk Elephant products I would buy again if I could afford them and give them another world. I liked them, but I wasn't like mind blown, but I like to, you know, I like to get to know them better. I would buy the Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydration for All Day Moisturizer again. It did a great job. I liked it. It was affordable, so would buy again. I would not buy again the Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Face Mask. I didn't feel like it didn't do anything. I, like, it kind of did, but just, I was just overwhelmingly underwhelmed by it. So, wash my hands of you. A pharmacy face mask. I'm just so confused too. Why were you hot? Why were you hot and burning? I You just confused me. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm just confused. <laughs> the Olivia Care 100% Natural Rose Hip Oil Face Serum I would buy again. It was, like I said, it was nice and my very painfully dry skin loved it and it wasn't too oily or too thick or too runny. I really like that. I would not buy this again. This is, I understand the concept for it, but for me, it, it's a waste of money and I wish I understood what it was when I was buying it. Lastly, the one I'm eager to repurchase or you know, buy the full size of and I loved it that much is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I loved this. Can't. I love you. I love you. Yeah. I would really appreciate if you liked and commented and subscribed and rang that bell and doing all those weird art motions to indicate all those things to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I thought my makeup was gonna look bad. It looks really good on film, on camera today. It just looks terrible in person. I can live with that. <laughs>